Hola everybody, Vince Bognar here. Thank you very much for tuning into this video. This video is going to be on how to install and run Windows XP on your Windows 7 machine. Yes, but there's one caveat. You must have the professional version of Windows 7, the enterprise version of Windows 7, or the ultimate version of Windows 7. You must have one of those versions to run Windows XP on your Windows 7 machine. So if you have Windows 7 Starter or Home Premium, you're kind of left in the dark because I tried installing Windows XP mode on my home premium machine, but I got this failure of a pop-up. Yes, that is one huge fail. But if you have Windows 7 Professional, Enterprise, or Ultimate, you can follow this process to install and run Windows XP on your Windows 7 machine free and legally. So let's just get started. Open up your favorite web browser. Mine happens to be Google Chrome and type in Windows XP mode. It should be the first link, first search result on Google. Hit it. It should be linking to the Microsoft.com website. And now you should select your edition of Windows 7 and desired language for installation. Again, it lists Starter and Home Premium here for the people who just want to download Virtual PC. So if you want to download Virtual PC, fine. It'll work with all of these editions of Windows 7. But if you want Windows XP mode, it only work with Professional, Enterprise, and Ultimate. So I'm going to hit Professional 64-bit, the language I speak. I speak Arabic. I'm a fluent in Arabic, and that's my native tongue. No, just kidding. It's English. And now you have to download these three files. But if you're running Windows 7 Service Pack 1, you don't have to download the last file listed here. You only have to download these two. But I don't have Windows 7 SP1, so I'm going to download all three files Oh, Windows validation is required to download the first file. Anyways, just validate your machine. It shouldn't take any longer than two minutes. So with the magic of editing... Oh, wait. No, I don't have to edit because it was that fast. Windows validation was successful. Oh, yeah, because I validated this machine before. So if this is the first time you're downloading Windows XP mode, you're going to have to go through a process that takes about two minutes to validate your machine. But since I already did mine earlier in April, I don't have to go through that process. So Windows validation was successful. Windows, it's Windows, stupid Vince. Okay, continue. So we'll download the 500 megabyte file, technically 470 megabytes. Why didn't Microsoft say 470 megabytes? And why did they say 500 megabytes? Ah, oh, failure, Microsoft failure. So depending on your internet connection, it could take between 13 minutes to 20 minutes to two minutes. Um, but with the magic of editing, I can just magically let it complete and download within two seconds. Sha bing! Woohoo! It's done downloading. Yes! Now that we've downloaded the biggest file that we have to download, which is a Windows XP mode, now we have to download Windows Virtual PC, which shouldn't be that large. Let's click on download. It's only 16 megabytes, so not as bad. And then I don't have SP1, so I'd have to update using this little update link on step four. So that should be only less than five megabytes. Oh, four megabytes. Okay. So in total, we have three files, yes, three files that we have to launch and execute so that we can run Windows XP on our Windows 7 machine. So let's let this download finish. Okay, so now we have all three files downloaded. So we can close out of our internet browser. And now we have to launch the files in the order that we downloaded them. So I have to launch Windows XP mode first because that was step number two. So. Let's run the file. It'll extract files, and basically it'll be a basic installation process. Just follow the rules and click on continue. Follow the rules. What rules are there to install? I don't know. Hit next, next. Please wait while setup installs a virtual hard disk file for Windows XP mode. This may take several minutes. But with the magic of editing, it will only take a several seconds for you. OK, setup is completed. All have to do is click on finish. But we're not done yet, so let's put that file to the side. Now we have to install the virtual PC application itself. So double click on the second file that we downloaded. Do you want to install the following Windows updates? Yes. It'll install some updates. Hit I accept. OK, so now we'll prompt you to restart. But since we have one more file to install, just hit close. Don't hit restart now to save some time. All right, now we install the last file that we downloaded. Okay, so now this pop-up will pop up and just click on yes. And it will install the update. Okay, so now the last file that we downloaded just installed and it will prompt us to restart now. This is the point of the video. 
where you restart now. So hit restart now and it'll restart your system. And I'm gonna restart as well, so I have to close this video recording real quick and I'll be back. All right, so now we're back. After you rebooted, you should be back on your desktop. So now hit start, all programs, scroll all the way down to Windows Virtual PC and hit Windows XP mode. There's a license agreement here. Just hit I accept the license terms. Next. All right. Okay, my username is XPM user. Unfortunately, there is no way to change the username, but there is a way to add a password. So I'm going to add my password. I love cupcakes. Woohoo! Hit on remember credentials. Sure. So we don't have to log in every single time and hit next. Help protect your computer. Sure. Why not? Setup will share the drives on this computer with Windows XP mode. Yes, start setup and it will set up Windows XP on our machine, setting up Windows XP mode for the first time use. And after setup is complete, you will now have a window running Windows XP on your Windows 7 desktop. Woohoo! You can even bring it to full screen. Look, let's bring Windows XP to full screen by hitting maximize. And now it'll be like running Windows XP on our computer as our main operating system. Look, so I can run Oh, uh, the great Internet Explorer 6. Wow, that really does suck. You can change the wallpaper with the ugly Windows XP wallpapers. Let's choose Santa Fe Stucco. Cool. So now you're running Windows XP on Windows 7. And the main purpose of Windows XP mode is to run your older application. So the beauty of this is I can install, let's say, let's install a program. Let's install Firefox. Now, why would I want to install Firefox on Windows XP when it's compatible with Windows 7? I don't know. This is just an example. So let's um, run the setup file for Firefox. Just pretend Firefox is one of those legacy programs. So we're running Firefox. Actually, we're downloading it first, and we're going to run the installation. Uh, file so let's just wait now we can run it let's run the installation file now it'll take us through the firefox setup next next come on install setup is complete and now we can launch firefox so let's launch firefox there we go here's the xp version of firefox now the beauty of this is if you have legacy software and you don't want to run windows xp mode all the time you can do this so let's close the tabs Let's shut down my machine. So let's shut down or log off. Log off. So if I want to go back to my desktop, I can restore it to a window again or just log off. I'm going to click X now. Hibernating the virtual machine. Cool, we're back in Windows 7. Remember how we pretended while we were on Windows XP that Firefox was legacy software and it wasn't compatible with Windows 7? Well, now the beauty of Windows XP mode is whenever you want to run that application, you don't even have to boot into Windows XP anymore. You don't have to launch Windows XP mode. You can just launch the application from your Windows 7 start menu. Yes, just go to all programs, scroll down to Windows Virtual PC, click on Windows XP mode applications, and all the applications you installed while you were in Windows XP mode will show up here. So while you're running Windows 7, you don't even have to run Windows XP mode to access your applications that are only compatible with Windows XP. You can run your Windows XP applications on Windows 7. It'll start the virtual application and it will open up the Windows XP application that we installed on Windows 7. Isn't that awesome? So this is the XP version of Firefox. You can tell by the little title bar here. Cool. So we can use the internet. It'll be all compatible, google.com. Cool, huh? Now remember, Firefox is compatible with Windows 7, but we're just pretending it's not. So whether it be you're just an enthusiast and you just want a copy of Windows XP on your system, or whether you just want to run your old XP apps on Windows 7, you can do that with Windows XP mode. And it's all for free if you have Windows 7, Enterprise, Professional, or Ultimate. So that's Windows XP mode for you. And you can save 10% off your next hover domain by using coupon code Vince by going to hover.com slash Vince or typing in V-I-N-C-E at checkout. Thank you very much for watching this video and have a good day. So basically we can run our Windows XP mode applications that we installed when uh, Windows XP mode was 